we're going we're gonna go back to this we're going back to this it was too many pizzas too many hobbies anyways what is good guys it's your boy pizza hobby and welcome back to another quick little video here i was in obs and i was just trying to tweak some settings um just try to get a little bit of smoothness out of my recording i felt like i was uploading some videos and there was a bit of like what i would describe from streaming terms like bitrate drop uh it just looked a little fuzzy and fast moving scenes and i want to smooth that out i'm new to just doing mainly recording i'm usually streaming but this year i've been doing a lot of recording because my internet hasn't been as consistent so tweaking these settings have been a little bit difficult but i think i found something that helped me so hopefully it helps you i was having a huge problem with trying to actually get into my settings for my video like this this is exactly what you would be seeing um and that's because i'm recording right now i was having an issue where even though i wasn't recording it was thinking i was or it was showing that there was something being used as video output and a couple of things um that i learned that i needed to go check was in the tools um, sometimes you see something NDI, um, it's like the NDI device or a virtual camera device. Um, as you can see down here, down here, I have virtual camera, um, controls, but I uninstalled it to fix that issue for me. What I had to do, what I had to do was very simple. Um, once you get into your OBS, you right click on your star icon right click here you get your properties you open up your little obs studio properties hit open file location as you see here once you do that your file location is going to pop up you're going to get into obs here right obs studios we're going to click data we're going to click obs plugins we're going to go down to all the way at the bottom win d show and then here you'll have all of your virtual camera modules 32 bit 64 bit um and all of this you could try to click this install button it didn't work when i did that so you know what i did i straight up highlighted all of them bing 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 and then i hit delete on them boom once i hit delete on them closed it zip gone waited a little bit because i'm paranoid i think you know waiting a little bit's gonna help somehow solve this problem then i launch it again as administrator once i launched it as administrator boom i came back in i had no issues with getting into my settings i was able to change my video drop downs things like that because it said that the video output wasn't running anymore and it was fine and i think for my case it was just something with the virtual camera being installed and it was just confused it didn't work anyways that solved my issue number one issue number two was I went to look back at some of my recordings and they just weren't as clean as I wanted. So once again, we went to settings, but this time we're going into output. We have our streaming output, which is what I used to be messing with much more. This not tuned for streaming right now, as you can tell, but we have my recording output as well. So since I'm recording right now, it's all grayed out, but for you, you should be able to click it. You have your recording path. Mine just goes to videos on my C drive very basic i don't lose anything but here in the recording quality you could do some crazy things with this so it's pretty much set to medium file size to save you space um but i wanted indistinguishable quality um and so i believe there's five options here like i said i can't click it right now i'll, I'll get i'll get a little screenshot or something um there's five of these drop down menus i believe and you could just click small file size medium file size large extra large whatever one is like ridiculously large it says it could be up to seven gigabytes per minute i was like hell no i ain't doing that so i put it to indistinguishable quality i recorded a video for about like i think it was 30 minutes and i think it was close to like five or six gigabytes so it's a pretty big file but i'll have you know the the frame rate, the uh, smoothness of the video, everything else looked much, much better. And, uh, you know, it, it helped me out. So figure to share it, you know, anything in this process wasn't clear. Let me know. 
reach out to me in the comments shoot me a message most importantly if this video did help you leave a like comment and if you do if you did do all that might as well subscribe might as well dog you might as well do it it's one more click all right yo i'll catch you later it's your boy pizza javi pizza out